The growing fundamentalism around the world is a great concern for all of us. We have seen that in the year 2018, which is adjusted as the worst year globally ever since the World War, many people were displaced, many have become refugees, many have been um, moved to new countries seeking asylums. All this has happened because of the kind of wars that have been challenging countries like Syria, Afghanistan and other parts of the world. The young people are caught in a flux. It's an adult war but the impact is on youth. Youth right now are experiencing a volatile world on one hand and an uncertain world on the other. Caught up in this too, they have been no choice except for becoming or taking position on the either sides. This is being exploited by many of the fundamentalist organizations. Most of the recruitments of the youth in fundamentalist or the extremist organizations have been those who have experienced a life of pain and grief. Youth are an asset to any country. Having said that, it's important to invest constructively in them so that they become productive citizens of any country. Education, social security, livelihood options are the key. Having said this, many of the countries which are of the third world have no social security or economic empowerment programs for youth. This is exposing the highly volatile age to actually take up violence as a means. Fundamentalism is the key to be addressed. Religions around the world have always inflicted hatred among people and youth who come from the generation where uh, there is anger and frustration fall an easy prey to this. Over a period of time, we have seen that the world requires programs that would address youth empowerment. India had many programs on developmental aspect as well as youth empowerment so as to ensure that their constructive time is utilized. Fundamentalism and religious dogma have actually been impacting the youth because they are not allowed to question. The ability to question is the key. Investing in making you to speak up and listening to them will help in reducing anger and frustration. The religious dogma has always created a rosy picture in the afterlife and so that sacrifice in this current life will take you to a different life which is full of blossom and richness and happiness. This kind of mindset has actually impacted youth to look at fundamentalism as an easy way out. Peace is the only option. There is a need to generate interreligious dialogue, dialogue between various ethnic groups, using negotiation as a means to bring solidarity among groups. Young leadership will definitely help in bringing change. Let us all try to invest into the future by educating our youth in, in our neighborhood programs as well as within the kind of society we live in so that they start utilizing their faculties of thinking in a much more rational and a constructive manner. Thank you. 
For more videos, please subscribe to this channel Positive Atheism and activate the bell icon.